Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. I just wanted to do a quick video talking about an at-home dual monitor setup without a docking station like I have here. So I have two tips for you. The first is that if you've got a laptop and you just want a screen, this could be really obvious to some of you, but just take your HDMI and use your TV, right? So most modern TVs are gonna have an HDMI in in the back and most laptops are either gonna have HDMI out or display port out. So you can look on Amazon for a display port to HDMI or if you have HDMI, use an HDMI cable, go from your laptop to the TV screen. I did this setup for a while before I got this docking station and it's great. TV is one screen, your laptop is the other screen. So that is a great option. If you're trying to go from HDMI to DisplayPort, it gets a little bit harder, but I will put links to all this stuff in the description to all the different things that I have tried and can say that they work. I'll link those below. Uh, the next thing that you can do is that your laptop, like I said previously, should have an HDMI out or a display port out. So that will give you one additional screen. If you don't wanna use your laptop as a second screen, and let's say you have a TV and a monitor or you have two monitors and you wanna do a true dual screen setup, but you don't have a docking station, the next thing you can look into is a dongle like this guy. And so this is a USB to HDMI. And I've tested, I have, three of these here um, all work pretty well. You do have to install some drivers. I wouldn't say this is something for a permanent setup, but it will get you through a few weeks if you want a true dual screen setup without a docking station. The cheapest one I got was about 16 bucks. It works pretty well. The refresh rate is not, it's not great, but if you're just gonna be working on documents, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, I mean, you don't, you don't need anything more than that. So I think it's totally sufficient. It wouldn't be good for like watching videos or anything like that, but it would get you through a few weeks working at home, trying to get a dual screen monitor set up just like this. And you can achieve that with your laptop with only one HDMI out. So I wanted just to share those two tips that I have for you. That's what I was actually doing last week before I got this docking station from my work. So my work ended up um, giving me a docking station. So now I've got a, a true dual monitor setup, but I was using that USB dongle last week and it worked great. Used it with a TV and with a monitor and it was awesome. So I wanted to pass those things along. Um, also just some other tips and I'm probably gonna mention this in the next few videos, but uh, I'm still thankfully employed. Just gotta not hit the mic here. Uh, I'm still employed, thankfully, and there's a lot of people out there that are not. So there's a lot of great tips um, online of people doing amazing things like getting the gift cards and whatnot. Uh, one of the practical things that uh, me and my wife are trying to do is that we are ordering groceries for delivery, not necessarily because we think we need to, but we just want to create a demand in that delivery space so that people can get work. So we know that the grocery stores around us are hiring. Uh, we went to a grocery store just last week and the first two people that I ran into and talked to that worked for the store had started within the last 48 hours. So we used um, Costco delivery and they use Instacart. You just go to Costco.com, you go to grocery, and then that is absolutely incredible. We loved our experience with Instacart and it gives someone a delivery job, which is great. Of course, there is exposure there for them, um, but it is a job if they got laid off, there is a job for them with Instacart. And then we've used uh, Walmart as well. Um, and I'm not sure, I think they use their own employees, but definitely encourage you, if you have the means, try to do some grocery delivery, or if you know someone in your neighborhood who might be at risk, maybe talk to them and see if you can order some groceries for them or encourage them so that they don't have to go into the store um, and put themselves at risk. So I just wanted to kind of pass those tips along about the screens and also about um, delivery. If you've got any ideas of ways that um, we can help more practical ways than just doing grocery delivery, please let me know in the comments below. I'll pin it, whatever, respond, thumbs up, um, just so other people can see. I think that would be very helpful in this time. Or if you just got some good news that you want to share, 
put that in the comments. Would love to see it, especially at a time like this. Things will get better. Thank you so much for watching, watching Break It Yourself. My goodness. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up, and we'll see you next time.